Hello everybody, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. It's quite a pretty card, but a few mistakes have been made on this. Um, but I will correct it when I show you how to make this card. To make this card I am using the stamp sets Free as a Bird. I'm going to be using that. I've used that stamp the two flowers and the leaf. Now they are already cut out and coloured in. They are here. So that's what I've used and cut out and stamped. I'm also using this retired one, Colourful Season. And I'm going to be using that sentiment. May all your tomorrows be as happy as today. Um, never used this. I got it and then it retired and I think I used one stamp, this one here, on a card I made and that was it. So, and I wanted a big sentiment so I thought I'd use that. I've also used, I've also used Celebration Label dies, these ones, and I've used the Second one in, and the uh, fourth one in. No, third one. So, right, one, two, three, four, five. So I've used two and four of these dies, being the smallest one, being the first die, number one. So that's what I've used. Oh, look, that's a new packet. I haven't got one there. So that's them. The paper I've used is from Good Morning Magnolia from last season. And there's the smaller die on the top. I've got a white card base of 8 and a quarter by 5 and 7 eighths, scored at 4 and 1 eighth, folded in half and burnished. And I have two pieces of white cardstock at 5 and 5 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths. Right, first of all, we need to prepare. Now, this one has got its corners cut off, as you can see. So, we need to prepare the cardstock first. To do that, I am going to go down, measure each corner, half an inch down, and half an inch in. And I'm going to do that on all four corners. You might have heard me rattle something when I um, was speaking then, and that is because I was getting my box out that keeps my rubber in. So I can rub off any pencil marks that I... Oh, what am I doing? These are supposed to go at the top. You silly person. So I'm marking the edge half an inch half an inch in and on all four sides. And what I will do is get my scissors and cut off the corners by the half inch mark. I'm not doing it as big as the last one. I think I'll show you how I did this before. So 
So that's what it looks like. And then I will get my rubber. Rub out all these useless pencil marks. Right, that's that. And then I've got to do the same on the bits that go inside. So, half an inch. Let me see. Half an inch in. going to cut them both together so you only have to measure a mark once. these two together and cut from there to there. You can show your hold. That's if you put an inside in your card. If not, you don't need to do this. And then this will fit nicely on there, like that. And inside as well. So what I'm going to do is put the bits with the pencil marks on, on the inside. sit nicely Oops. I know probably on there so let's get rid of all these bits We need to stamp with our sentiment. So I've got it on the block with my Versafine Onyx Ink Black, black ink. I am inking this up and I'm going to pop that in the middle and this. I'm going to put as low as I can without going on the stitching. And there we have that. And then we will stick this to our paper. Isn't 
this is quite easy to line up because you've got the notches here and here so yeah they're quite easy to line up and then this will go on there just fits on that five by five and five eighths piece either side and then I shall put this on the card Right, the reason I've chose three as the bird is because I wanted to use the stamp set and I think I've done this kind of layout before not sure but I just thought it went well with this um, card I'm making so we will lay our bed down first. And then our branches, which we will lay over his legs. This is going to go on dimensionals and then that will tuck inside. Put one on. Did I put the little one? Yeah, I will. And one on the little one. So I'll put the big one on first and pop that right in the middle. And this little one we will put to the side. No. Put that to the side a bit. There we are. I don't need that. And that'll just leave us some gems to put on. I've got some gold gems here I'm going to use instead of pink, uh, silver. So we're going to put one there, one there, and one there. Well, my heating's back on in the house now so these won't fall off there we are that is my card made I know it was quite quick um, the only thing I've really done if I'm honest these were done a while ago. These were in my um, maybe one day box. And I got them out of there. Um, that's why they were already cut and done. But these are the new dies that I've got which I wanted to use. Well, I thought I put it on the wrong way then. So there's my card for today. Hope you like it. If you do give us a thumbs up if you'd like to see more of my cards please subscribe 
and if you press the bell icon you'll be notified of any more videos I upload which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.